Tesla launch has big plans for the Gigafactory in the UK. The rumors of Tesla constructing a Gigafactory in the UK have been making quite a buzz on the internet. Those rumors are back and they're becoming louder as Tesla wants to build a factory in Somerset, England. But where exactly in Somerset? Is Tesla going to construct the Gigafactory and why Somerset? Let's take a closer look at Tesla in the United Kingdom. Now Gravity is a projected location for Tesla's Gigafactory in the United Kingdom. Gravity is a small campus that spans 616 acres. The region is currently under construction by the Secretary of State for Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy. Kwasi Kwarteng has stated that the government is evaluating it as a potential location for Tesla's Gigafactory. Welcome back to Tech Trends for All. Before we proceed, kindly subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated when we release new videos. Without further delay, let's dive in. The secretary feels gravity is in a good position because it's large enough for whatever huge plan Tesla plans to build. He also believes gravity is a good location because of its proximity to the M5 and Junction 23 roads, a train and air and seaports. The UK government was seeking a 92-acre location to host a Tesla Giga plant, which sparked rumors that Tesla might establish a factory there. Tesla's plans to build a factory in the UK appear to be no longer a rumor. Now that Secretary Cording is pushing for gravity to be utilized as the site for its manufacturing, the minister also reaffirmed the government's commitment to electric vehicle and automobile industry support. Gravity is looking for global leaders in advanced manufacturing, artificial intelligence, robotics and electric vehicles. According to the Somerset analysis, Britain will require one Gata factory by 2022, by 2025, and 80 by 2040 to accommodate the demand for electric vehicles and batteries, according to the Faraday Institution. The United Kingdom's Institute for Petrochemical Energy Storage, Research and Skills Development. Now, although 92 acres may appear to be insufficient for production, it's nearly the same size as Phase 1 of the Giga Factory in Berlin. Tesla considered the United Kingdom as a potential location, but chose Germany first owing to Brexit. Review and manufacturers were also searching for a production location in the United Kingdom. This would be the third factory for the electric manufacturer without a production vehicle on the road. The British government is thought to be in the early stages of talks with gravity, and the investment might be worth more than £1 billion, according to sources. It's worth noting though, that the UK is competing with Germany and the Netherlands for the right to host the new facility. The electric car company's ambitions for UK production follow report that it plans to invest $5 billion in the second facility in the United States. The location is believed to be in Pinnell County, Arizona, and as part of the Arizona Innovation and Technology Corridor. Production is expected to begin in the second quarter of 2023, with construction on the so-called Project Tariff Plan, starting in the fall of 2021. At the same time, Rivian will release its first production of electric vehicles. Tesla has long controlled the electric vehicle market, but not as much as it has in 2020. Tesla outsold its competitors in the EV market by such a large margin in 2020 that the business ended up with 79% of the market. Tesla accounts for approximately 8 out of every 10 electric vehicles registered in the United States. As a result of this, Tesla now controls the electric vehicle industry, leaving the rest of the competitors in the dust. The data also indicates that the rest of the electric vehicle market's cars, such as the Nissan Leaf, the Porsche Taycan, and the Audi e-tron, all contended for the remaining 21% of the pie left by Tesla. The domination is undeniable. In a list of the top-ranking electric automobiles in the United States, Tesla took four out of the top five spots last year, with 90,135 registrations for the Model 3 and 71,334 for the Model Y Tesla took first and second place respectively. The Chevrolet Volt electric vehicle, which was previously the third best electric vehicle in the country, only received 19,664 registrations over the year making it a decent electric car with a long range and performance. But a distant third place to the top, two Tesla's Tesla's other models, the Model X and the Model S, which were struggling when compared to the Model 3 and Y, came in fourth and fifth in the United States with 19,652 and 14,430 registrations, respectively. It's fascinating to note that despite the pandemic's developments, the market for electric vehicles continues to grow and thrive. Some say that's the same reason why the UK is very much willing to collaborate with Tesla. For the next few years, 
Tesla and Volkswagen are expected to be the most lucrative automobile makers in the electric vehicle industry, with Volkswagen aiming to catch up with Tesla soon. Tesla and Volkswagen aren't up prime position to lead the electric vehicle market. According to UBS analysts, led by Patrick Campbell, who released a note to investors indicating that Tesla and Volkswagen would end up being the most profitable businesses. The UK has a good eye on promising businesses, and that is why it's been very welcoming to Volkswagen. According to researchers, the leader will be determined by software changes rather than car specifications and performance. Tesla's software capabilities, such as full self-driving software, demonstrate that the company's leadership in the electric vehicle market is not reliant on its products. The car's performance or range ratings are important, but its most significant advantage in the electric vehicle market is due to its software, which is more robust than that of any other automaker. Over-the-air updates are currently one of the most distinguishing features of Tesla's software. This allows owners to improve their vehicles on a near-weekly basis over the internet. It also has the ability to improve performance ratings, range, and self-driving software. Now, with all these achievements, we cannot rule out that this is the main reason why the UK is welcoming Tesla to set up shop there. So what are your thoughts on Tesla's decision to build a gigafactory in the United Kingdom? Do you believe Tesla and Volkswagen will emerge as the most profitable in the new future as predicted? Well, go ahead and let us know in the comments. But that's all for this video and we'll see you in the next one.